All right, let's look at our learning intentions and our success criteria today as we are learning about trig, trigonometry. All right, so our content purpose of the day is to use trigonometric ratios of the sides of triangles to find missing information. So we're gonna go a step further past the Pythagorean theorem um, and use something called sine, cosine, and tangent to help us think about um, how we can solve for information in triangles. Um, and our language purpose, I want you guys to really be articulating what information is given to you and how you can use it. So we are talking about triangles and sides and angles and ratios. And so you want to be clear as you work with each other um, to say what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you can use, um, which strategy you're going with um, as you work through these problems. So the social purpose kind of goes along with, along with that. And I put here that we want to support each other in building perseverance in mathematics by offering ideas and encouraging our peers to talk about their thinking. So um, this is a new concept. And so it might be weird at first and you might feel like you're stuck, but we want to persevere and keep trying things. Um, and we can offer ideas to our peers, give them suggestions. But the second part there that I put is encouraging our peers to talk about their thinking. So you do want to ask each other like, what is it that you're thinking? Um, and if somebody is saying like, I have no idea what to do, um, ask again, like, so what is it that you're thinking about? And maybe you do have some thoughts about maybe I know this side is the opposite side. Um, and there's something that you can start with. And rather than saying just, I don't know, um, giving at least your ideas of things that you're thinking about, even if you have no idea like which process to use, you might have some thoughts going already. And that can help us communicate with each other if we're sharing what we're thinking about. Okay, so success criteria. Um, as we go through this week and do some problems today and a couple of videos tomorrow, um, you are going to get a chance to rank yourself on these success criteria. So you want to be able to say, hey, um, I am a pro at this. I can teach other people. Or hey, I'm getting it. I feel pretty good to be doing these on my own. Um, or maybe like I need a little support here. Or I really have no idea what I'm doing yet. Help me out, Miss Allen, please. Um, but here, so these are the ones that you're gonna be able to rank yourself on. So first off, can you describe what a trig trigonometric ratio even is? And like, what, why do they exist? And then we wanna say, can we describe which side ratios correspond with which trigonometric functions? You're gonna have to memorize like what goes, which sides you do use for sine, which sides correspond to tangent. Um, and then on the third bullet point here, you want to hopefully say, I can find a right triangle sine, cosine, and tangent from a specific angle of reference. It is going to matter like which part of the triangle we're thinking about, which angle we're referring to. And then finally, use sine, cosine, and tangent to find missing side lengths on a triangle. And that corresponds to our main content purpose of the day. So we're going to be using all these things to build up to being able to actually use these tools. We want to make sure we understand what they are and then use them to find um, different things that we can use.